So this review is for Kick-Ass, creating the comic, making the movie. It's uh, published by Titan, and that's a really great title for it because this book is um, not just about the making of the movie. About a quarter, I would say, is dedicated to the um, sort of uh, a lot of behind the scenes aspects of the comic. And if you're a fan of of the comic and the movie then it's really great because you don't usually you know usually the book will either focus on um, one property or the other so to have the, the comic and the movie in one book is really really nice because um, as you read through you find out that the comic and the movie were often being made simultaneously so you know they go very much hand in hand and have a have a shared history so one of the bad things about a lot of making of books and art books is that they feel very rushed or they weren't given the attention they deserved and this book does unfortunately fall into that category however I will say it at least has the decency to be uh, a notch above a lot of the others. Uh, specifically because it is well designed, it's got a very scrapbook style. Um, and the text included is actually uh, very insightful and very good. So one thing that usually gives away how um, rushed or not enough attention was given to a making of book or an art book is the use of space and the use of images now what we've seen so far um, through this sort of first half of the book is actually really good it's got a very scrapbook style you see uh, you know it's got costume sketches a panel from the comic you know a behind the scenes um, pictures part of um, the script um, but as you get later into the book you start to see just tons and tons of um, screenshots from the movie and you get the impression that as you go through the book it gets increasingly lazy um, again that may have been rushed for time um, so this book is for a, for a making of book because um, I nothing on the um, cover really indicates it's meant to be an art book which it isn't it, it definitely fits more into the making of category but it's surprisingly text light for a making of book um, however I will say that the text that is included is actually very good it's not much because as you can see as we're going through it's you're only getting you know about a paragraph or two per page but it's actually quite uh, insightful, which you don't often get a lot of in the sort of um, rushed uh, books uh, or ones that haven't been, you know, written and edited properly. There's a lot of superfluous um, and superficial and uninteresting information. This book does have a, a sort of um, good macro and micro view of the making of the movie which is nice there's not lots of there are lots of nice um, little details plenty of um, interviews specifically with uh, Jane Goldman who wrote the script with um, director Matthew Vaughn and then you get other um, interviews with cast and production designer and and a lot of the details included in there are actually quite nice. The only problem is it's just not enough. Um, what you're also getting, because see, so this is, so you get some nice behind the scenes pictures of the costume department, but then you get um, the costume designer just has that one paragraph. And so that just doesn't feel like up, although, that goes into each of the individual character costumes a bit more detail. So 
what you're getting is um, there are a few this is by I should have mentioned Mark Miller who uh, created the comic he's a bit of an egomaniac I think but it's really nice I always get excited when someone who is so involved with the process which he was both obviously the comic and the movie um, is sort of uh, guiding you through it and writing it because you know you want someone with first-hand experience rather than just a PR person but the problem is often um, I found that that's <laughs> unfortunately not the case and that people involved usually do a much worse job of authoring well but it has to say like this this is taken from I think um, uh, Chloe Moretz's blog at the time so this is from 2008 and so you know just the inclusion of stuff like that and as you can see it's like laid out as if it's being viewed on a computer which it would have been originally rather than just reprinting the text which is really nice and some of the other nice features are of course there are a few storyboards not a whole lot of concept art for the movie there are a few um, a few concept pieces um, most of the art is from the finished comic um, but yeah, it's got this sort of nice scrapbooking style that really um, fits in both with the the world of Kick-Ass because their costumes are very, you know, uh, sort of DIY and not meant to be, you know, except for, I guess, Big Daddy and Hit Girl, not meant to be professional. And then when you're reading about the making of this movie, it also feels appropriate because it was a very sort of, like, getting it all together was very fast and scrappy and... Um, a really interesting um, story on how this this um, movie got made because it's certainly not something that is very um, uh, typical Hollywood. So, so reading about that and hearing people talk about the, the the process of getting this movie made is probably the most interesting part. So you can see a very um, visually heavy book. You also occasionally get little um, excerpts from the script, which I don't know isn't <laughs> great, but it um, it does sort of it sort of is in keeping with that scrapbook style. Here you can see, so this is what it looks like. They'll just do, you know, little chunks of the script. But then see, as we're getting towards the end, there's not really anything on here. The, this is just, I mean, it's the, the layout is very interesting and not, you know, at all sloppy, but there's just nothing here, really. Again, a nice little thing on um, the... Uh, comic book artists cameo in the film but then you know it's a shame they didn't make a um, uh, any making of book for the second film and indeed the um, special features on the blu-ray and DVD for the second film were very disappointing as well the first, this movie also, the, the um, Blu-ray special features are quite nice. Um, Matthew Vaughn does sort of come across as the biggest whiny director I've ever um, witnessed, but um, it's okay. So, for anyone interested in sort of um, uh, insight into comics, comic art, comic writing, um, film art, concept art, uh, or film making in general. There's probably not enough in here to um, 
really inspire you or give you a lot of insight. However, for fans of the film, I do think there's um, definitely enough, you know, little bits sprinkled throughout to um, entertain and enlighten you. Because I, I, I am a big fan of um, both kick-ass movies and I did enjoy the comics. Um, so I did enjoy this book very much. Also, this book is about um, $20 and, you know, for that price I'm sure fans will get a kick out of it. <laughs> um, but it will certainly leave you wishing there were more.